Hey guys and welcome back and we do have broken shards in the channel from uh, Jews Gone Wild which is possibly one of the best names and the worst names I've heard in this tournament so far so go ahead and say hello broken shard. Hi I'm broken shard I'm the jungler for team Jews Gone Wild. We're not actually team Jews Gone Wild it's just that I couldn't think of an actual team name. We're sponsored currently by team ESC IC Box. that's kind of our official name. But Jews Gone Wild is pretty cool anyway. Thought it would be a little funny twist. It is funny and uh, quite possibly offensive. So, uh, what's your battle plan for, for for this game to come against Fnatic? Uh, we're pretty much just going to play what we've been practicing for the past week. Uh, we picked up a new AD carry. Well, he's not official yet. It's a uh, Wu Wu from MTW. He's been playing with us often, and he's still part of MTW, but he's been like kind of ringing for us. And we had we we were privileged enough to have a little bit of um, time to practice with him for the past week. So, we've sort of got our own battle plan, we, we know what they like to do, because Fnatic, we've done our homework, we know what bands we're going to do. It's just a matter of uh, picks and counter picks, and uh, actual gameplay, if we can actually execute it properly. Right, gotcha. So, have you been scrumming against Fnatic before this? Actually, this this might be the first time that this team has ever, I've ever played this with this team against Fnatic. Ah, uh, gotcha. But I myself have played against Fnatic many times in the past. Okay, so... Coming into the game, are you scared of any particular player on the enemy team? Anyone you XTK. really want to shut down? XTK. Right. He's probably from almost all the times that I've uh, played against him. Uh, XPK has probably been one of the more... Um, the most dominant players I've had to play against, especially in the mid lane. And I fear that he might be a little bit of a problem, but... I, I don't think I'm going to want to alter anything in order to try to shut him down in particular. However, we really have to watch out for that mid lane. Gotcha. So, do you want to head over back to your um, your team speak, or are you good to stay here as we I head into champion select? <laughs> um, well, I'm not sure. Do you well, want me? To... I think we would like to discuss picks and bans. <laughs> yeah, that's absolutely fine. So, uh, yeah, it looks like X Pekka is ready to go. So, yeah, good luck, Broken Shot. I uh, hope you do well. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> And by the way, I'm an actual Jew, so this name is not offensive. I'm literally a Jew going wild. So. Outstanding. Oh. Alright, see you guys. See ya. Have a good one. What an absolute no. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, this should be an extremely entertaining game. We really haven't seen Jews gone wild before, and... Yeah, so, waiting for the first, uh, first bands and picks. So, yep. Uh, yep, <laughs> yep. Surely be speaking at some point, didn't I? Maybe. I mean, you could just creep a Spuddington appearing out of nowhere. Welcome. Yeah, hello. Yeah. I've got to keep saying hello. Uh, yeah, right. So, pick some bands, of which I can see nothing at the moment. Alistair, there we go. Yeah. Alistair, a very aggressive jungler, very difficult to deal with. Also, quite a, quite a very viable support in that he can really set up kills for his carry. Possibly slightly eclipsed by uh -huh, Leona in that role. Um, Malphite, great initiator, good jungler, good top lane, shuts down a lot of different champions. Understandable ban. Shuts out a lot of strategies that you can run. Yep, someone in chat was just wondering if it was Essen's uh, casting against. No, it's, it's, it's Pulse. I am Pulse. Hello. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, Rumble. Once again, will be banned out. So interestingly enough, Broken Shard will say that they know exactly what bands they're going to pick out against Fnatic. So they know what they're going to do, and uh, Rumble makes a lot of sense because, well, as we as we've, as we've mentioned, he is well extremely strong, and so he gets nerfed in the next patch. And that's by Morello himself. Yeah, Rumble. They fixed the way his flame splitter ticks uh, damage, so um, it now effectively. It's much more likely to get as many ticks as possible onto the player, onto whoever's being targeted by it, so you're much more likely to suffer, basically. And and yeah, that's actually effectively increased his, his laning power, so he's now a very strong laning bully and it's very difficult to deal with him. And uh, Vlad, Vladimir, very strong top laner in certain circumstances, can really carry a game if he gets fed ex very high damage AoE, and damage amplification on his ult, which can synergize with an awful lot of other characters. Uh, Nunu and Maokai are... In fact, it looks like uh, Fnatic are banning out a lot of junglers here. Nunu can be off, probably more likely used as a support, but he's also very strong. Um, 
the jungler right now. Uh, Maokai, very strong gank ganking jungler. Nunu... I guess spanning out Nunu in many ways shuts down protect the Cogmore comps. Yeah, uh, yeah that, that's uh, definitely for sure. And has broken the shard's head. He's, he's gone with Zinzao. <laughs> so yep. ha that's uh, very interesting. Like, yeah. he's, he's very hot on Zinzao. And... Yeah, Broken Shard was just messaging him, saying he, all this tournament he's been playing Xin Zhao since he's been changed, so he's uh, very strong with him right now. And of course we do have the Corky and Nocturne pick up, so uh, go ahead and explain that one out. Corky is just a really solid AD carry in general. He has strong burst, can synergize with a lot of different supports, and Nocturne has very great ganks past six um, and he's for that and it's always a damage threat and late game he becomes one of those few characters that have a genuinely unstoppable initiate and just literally dump in on whoever he wants and there is nothing you can do to stop it except kill him once he's arrived yeah definitely we're talking about this the other day in fact where you could kind of have like a control champion like a Nivea um, maybe like Oriana maybe Trundle, so when he dives in, you block him off basically, and then you can pick him. And that's like a good counter to him, but otherwise, yeah, as you said, he's very, very solid as a jungler. Great level 6 ganks, and uh, one of the best junglers at the moment, quite frankly, among those support junglers themselves. We will have the Ari pickup, along with the Sona pickup, once again. Sona, one of those best AD, AD carriers at the moment, yep, yeah, one of the best supports at the moment, and, uh, well, along with Ari, yeah, best AP, yep. AP carries. Sona has a lot of uh, poke on her, she can really uh, force a lane to just take a lot of damage and sort of sort of extends the threat range. Uh, it, it means that you know the area you can walk into is for the opponent without taking any damage. When you're against Soraka, you can go right up next to her and you might take a banana to the face, but you're not going to take any <laughs> significant damage from it. Where Sona, you'll lose you know you'll lose a quarter of your health, and that's significant. And Ari is obviously this bursty roaming assassin that's really good, basically, just all around very solid. Yeah, Ariana. Ariana's more of a kind of a utility pick these days. She's got very strong lane harassment. And actually, also, yeah, she has a lot of utility and she synergizes well with AoE on other characters because she, her ultimate pulls enemies in. And you are not picking Cat, I know it, damn it. Uh, yeah, Jax, there we go. Uh, Jace as well. Um, yeah, Jax is just a very strong duelist. In his best case scenario, he is probably one of the strongest champions in the game, but he can sometimes be shot down, shut down in a lane. And it's an interesting pick to take him when you don't actually know the opponent's top lane. Um, yeah. Ooh, potentially a Darius coming out here. Yeah, as you said, picking him before you don't know the lane, but what can you do considering last pick? Was of, of course that top lane. And, uh, yeah, once again, doesn't look like they have an AD carry unless they put Jace down there. So, kind of an interesting pick in that sense. And, uh, yeah, as you said, like, Oriana will synergize with those characters who also have a lot of utility of their own. Obviously looking really to uh, put that ball on Cyanide as he dives in and then ult. Because he can perfectly position himself with it. So, yeah, uh, I'm seeing it. I'm definitely seeing it. And I'm going to guess here that uh, top lane matchup, Darius versus Jax... Uh, it's not going to be a fun lane for Jax. Really not a fun lane for Jax. Unless they do something really janky, actually. They could put, like, Jax bottom with Sona and have, like, an AD um, base go top and just try and play the keep away game with Darius. But I very much doubt they'll do that. Um, could run, yeah, could do, could do that, but uh, unlikely. Jax will usually, usually just kind of tough it out and wait until he becomes Jax properly which, depending on how many times Darius gets heads and kills him, um, he will could take a while in that kind of a lane. Then again, jungle support, if if Broken Shard ganks, and Xin Zhao ganks are very strong on someone like Darius, because uh, Darius has no escape, and Xin Zhao has high damage and high amount of CC, especially with Jax there as well to capitalize, I expect we'll see a lot of camping of top here. A lot. So as is gonna, not going to have a fun time. The counterplay to that, of course, is for Cyanide to be up there at the same time. Uh, we were mentioning this before, but 
if you know where a jungler has started, you can predict where he's going to go, and obviously from that, when he is likely to gank. And if you know when he's likely to gank, your own jungler can try and be there to mitigate the damage. Yeah, definitely. I definitely agree with that. So, um, yeah, if Jace does go bottom, let's just take a look at his uh, masteries and runes, and they are pretty standard for, for that setup. But, yeah, guys, we'll be quickly swapping to a commercial break, and when we get back, we will have Juice Gone Wild versus Fnatic for the finals of these qualifiers. The 4PL Play for Fame Corsair Vengeance Cup July qualifiers number four. Very easy and rolls off the tongue. See you later. Hello and welcome back to the finals of this 4PL tournament. I am once again joined by the lovely Spillington. I am lovely, fantastic and awesome, as has been mentioned on three separate occasions now. <laughs> um, yep, hello. I have and to say hello as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have to do that. And uh, I think that was also a variant on the usual hello, so congratulations. We do mm -hmm. have Fnatic. <laughs> I don't even, know what, I even, even want to know what that was. So Fnatic going out into the enemy jungle, potentially picking up Jace because he will be approaching the bush at the same time. He will see them and have a heart attack. Expect he will see him. Abraham goes down, it quickly skilled by Sarah. Splash goes down, and he should be good to go. Uh, that was... how many summoners were burn? Absolutely zero, and actually one from Jace. So, Abhand early for Sarah's not incredibly terrible, but even so, he would like to have that decimate. But even so, Fnatic potentially looking to drive the nail in harder and potentially go for Broken Shard. He will see him and start to back off. Ari is also in position. Does he have charm? Has not yet skilled up, which makes a lot of sense. And, uh, Always hold your skills it. back, children. <laughs> um, yeah. Hold your skills back and buy warts. Um, uh, that and never be an expose advert. your neck. Um. <laughs> yeah, nice reference. Um, so, Broken Shard will be going back into his jungle. Will Fedex get picked up? He should be okay, though. Once again, still Fnatic waiting in that bush. Only got Cyanide and next Peko there. Quite a ballsy move. Cyanide just showing his face once again for the pressure. Looks like they may be trying to steal this big Wraith. What are they trying to do? 
The spring oh, goes down and the next it. will get it. Outstanding. Big distance first. We win, GG. <laughs> yeah, it's true. They're going to snowball that advantage. You can yes. see it now. But, uh, yeah. Um, we are ahead, you can surrender. Yep. <laughs> That's definitely true. Broken Jod will be opening up with the with the red. But I don't even, <laughs> even want to know. So, so as does have a slight disadvantage at level 1 since he does not have decimate and wow the damage from um not gonna pronounce that name either from Gib was uh, pr pretty substantial like even at level 1 yeah it, it that's kind of a natural aspect of it like he like he having counter strike i think i think the damage scales up i think doesn't it as for how many how many things miss uh while he's dodging so yeah, um, yeah. It does, it, it, the damage on Counter Strike scales up. So if you get the whole creep wave to attack you, you're going to end up with actually quite a significant amount of burst. Yeah, quite quite significant. And already, Fnatic trying to push in that bottom lane, and not too much happening at the moment. So we were briefly talking to Broken Child before, and he was in fact saying that they put them down bottom because they were looking to destroy that Corky with that lane. So you have the Jason, you have. Uh, you have Sonna, but at the moment they kind of get beaten down by Fnatic's lane. So Larry the just problem they're job. having at the moment is that the lane is pushing towards them, and they can't. They're frequently like a level behind, and they're also suffering from uh, not being able to attack in melee mode without suffering from a lot of creep aggro, which uh, obviously um, Lamia would not have to suffer nearly as much of because he'd be standing back and having a much larger creep wave on his side. And obviously, uh, with Soraka there to the top of his mana, he can pop. He can. A broken shot going for the gank on XPK already. Will not get the third portion of free talent strike. That would have surely been the kill had that been the case. And he will be backing up. But that was a disturbing amount of damage already from. Uh, from nah, he's going around for another one, I reckon. I oh, know he's not. He's going top. Nice call. <laughs> yeah, no, that, 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 oh, uh, yeah. oh, man. Dude. I just got dunked. And uh, Broken Shard, there's the flash into E as well. Will oh. not actually get the kill. And uh, now Sana looking for the counter gun. Xpecky following up. Ignite goes down as well into the Duskbringer. One more auto attack on the Duke, however. Xpecky bringing out the auto attack will get the first blood. And now double buff Xpecky, double buff a Cyanide. Uh, and stuck in the middle of you. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, what? Yes. I mine me mine. Damn it, that's really annoying, by the way. The like, Ari being called I Am I Me Mine, because it's making me think of the Beatles song, but more Oh god, no, why? I Me Mine, I Me Mine. But the problem no, is, I'm it's not the same right. lyrics. And meanwhile, Jax has actually ignited. Yeah, uh, up top. and Flash goes down, another Flash as well, but that, well, that was a bit janky. But he will pick up the kill anyway. Meanwhile, bottom, Wu going straight onto Felix. Lamia just turning around, doing some damage. Ignite goes down as well, kind of deterring him from going any further. Phosphorus Bomb goes down as well. And uh, Fami following up with some damage. Broken Shard in mid. Broken Shard going down onto XPK. Will he get the kill? Completely out of mana. And yeah. Oh, well, he just reclaimed his double buff. Yeah. So I was going to say buff transfer complete, but. The uh, purple team pings going on. Oh, yeah. I think uh, we were telling uh, Oriana how Broken Shard had gotten into his lane like that. They were. Like, how, how did this happen? He, who, uh, he walked in from the side and, <laughs> and, and then dashed on you, but yeah. Oh, well. I, I like to think that's how the Fnatic team speak went down. <laughs> how did he do it? Just, just that picture of that guy going like, wow, side up pose. <laughs> oh, Jackie Chan. I, don't, there, I think there are a number of things <laughs> that have done that pose over time. Yes, that's, that's definitely true. So, me, getting back onto the game, wow. Massive kind of, tangents, like massive yeah, tangents. Massive tangents, but whatever. I'm kind of surprised actually at how well Jax is doing against um, Darius here. Like, Darius is someone I associate with, if you get into melee range with him, particularly early on, you're going to get grinded. But Jax is currently taking the opportunity to ward Cyanide's jungle and um, look for a gang. Gank mid okay. as well, and ultimately goes down to buy Ari, misses the charm at point blank range on a stationary target, but you know, that's fine. And, and then uh, ults for no good reason. <laughs> the play, ladies. The plays. <laughs> that was really magnificent, I have to say.
But uh, 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 if, if anyone asks, he was clearing the creep wave. Yes, exactly. Now he's going back, so you know it's time efficient. That's what, that's what yeah. McLaren said, right? Um, <laughs> so, so as this is a really time efficient move, guy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to win the game anyway. So, yeah, the, I think the reason was, so I had to take Amprehens at level 1 to try and get that thing going. However, he took a lot of damage, as we were saying, from Jax. He just, Broken like, ripped into him. gank him, by the way. Yeah, I, I'm just looking at that. I am not currently blind and senile, so... Uh... <laughs> you might not have noticed. <laughs> so I, was I mean, gonna... obviously, you didn't know he was going to gank. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, and he's actually going in looking for the audacious charge. Actually, gonna do it too early. Now, gonna gap close. Three talent strike goes down. Will he get the kill, however? Backing off for a second, and that will be another kill for Jax. He was saving the audacious charge in case Darius. Um, oh, meanwhile, on bottom, out. Jace going with the disguise, and he's out there. You call it the disguise, sorry. Uh, oh, to the skies, yes. He's in disguise, yes. yes. Jace is in disguise. <laughs> Jace is going in with the disguise. <laughs> One. Side up pose. What? Definitely not Jace Definitely on your face. Oh! <laughs> and meanwhile, it's had up the ultimate Jay onto Wu. Oh, that was his count initiate. Wow. That was like amazing. It's hammer time. Really? Uh, it, it was, to be fair. Uh, okay, I've made so many points. I, really, I can give you that I one. I really wish they'd actually just called that move hammer time. <laughs> that would have been so good. So bad. But so I mean, taking a lot of damage with disguise from Wu. And um, cyanide. <laughs> I can't miss you. <laughs> um. Ooh, but yeah. Uh, I don't know. Is is this actually uh, really sarcastic, or or is it actually hiding an underlying truth? Subtext. Um. Yeah. I mean, you know, I lie all the time. I never lie. I'm lying. I see what you did there, and it was terrible. Um, looking Sorry, at the there are two men. <laughs> um, <laughs> really, really? Well, we do have very interesting scores. I mean, it's 3-1 right now, and actually, Gib going to go straight back on Sellers once again. Our trading in pretty significantly. That decimates is not really doing well. Uh, so. Yeah, it is, and there's the upper hand as well. He's actually going to start trading. Heads goes down. Is it going to be enough? Decimate goes down as well. I felt I had to have, like, you know, the, the dome voice with the heads. Heads like a down. dunking. <laughs> they, have, uh, they have two dunking characters on this match as well. You have uh, have Jace and you have Darius. Oh yeah. All for dunking. However, Wu dunking. is actually going to go on to Lamia once again. Exhaust goes down onto Valiox, knocks him to the side. Nice little nudge. Crescendo as well. Surely will go down. I might mean mine is also there looking for the last hit. Will not get the assist either way, and Wu will pick that one up. We'll get the XP. Meanwhile, a top G broken shot picking up the kill onto Soaz. Will he die as well to Sai going for the tower dive. Going over the door, Dacia's charge, slowing him down. We'll force to flash out as well. Will he go back in as well? No, he will not. Ah. Ah. <laughs> okay. I will never... I will uh, Tangent here, because I don't think there's much going on. It's mostly just farming and pushing to towers right now. But, uh... Uh, I will never forget playing a Smurf game on North America and, and running into a pre-made duo by the name of Dunkmaster L and Dunkmaster J, <laughs> playing J4 here in the bottom. That was that was a fun game. Oh. It was yeah, that was that time. The good times, man. The good times. The good, let the good times roll. It's uh, yeah. Anyway, it, um, the game. Uh, who knows what the game's what, ladies what and is gentlemen. going on? I don't know. I certainly haven't been paying any attention at all. Um, yeah. Would I do that? Yes, I would. But would I? But would I? Yes. I never lie. I swear. Okay. 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 I'm sorry. Uh, I'm getting. I'm getting. I'm. I'm I am an uruberos of self-representing. Uh, self. Self-referencing. Stupid jokes. Uh Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Tangents. Ari is in mid. Ninety degree fine. angles. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Man. Right. Bro broken shards. What? Honestly, we can afford to do this because there's literally nothing going on apart from farming. But Wu looking to. No, no, it's just going to be healed up by Felix. You know, it's fine. Ooh, Nocturne I didn't is, want anything to. Oh. Nocturne is looking to lane gank bot, but. but unbeknownst to him. The, it's uh, Ari and Zin Zhao. Once he goes down with the power of going straight onto Wu Lino. And flash over the wall by Ari to kind of just knock him away. However, Lamia there as well will be taken down immediately. Ultimate goes down, return part of Orb Deception 2 and 0. Very, very clean. And they'll probably 
Drake. Like I got. They have the... a free dragon if they want it here. Although. Wu-Shine, wu, wu line sorry being so low, puts him in quite a lot of danger, but they can probably dive onto XPK if, if, he's, if he feels anything dangerous. I've got to say though, I'm, 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 mine, sorry, uh, has been doing... And I'm looking for the steel, and he, he will it. pick it up, but he will die for his troubles, also goes down with the shockwave, we get a kill onto family, he will not, they cannot turn this one around to XPK, and they are out of there. Or maybe not, they are going to turn back in. Rulino is going straight on to XPK. We'll pick up the kill. Will Broken Shark get this? Audacious Charge goes down and another auto attack down to the wire. And that will be a one for one trade. Actually, one for two trade. But they will With also get Drake gold. and the Sis Gold. So I don't know uh, who really came out ahead on that one. Uh, no, definitely Fnatic came out ahead on that, I think, because of, because of the dragon there. Right. Okay. Uh, I was just mentioning the Assist Gold in the final one. Uh, to be wanting of XPK. Oh right, yeah. Uh, especially considering um, XPK is actually now having his lane shoved to his tower, so he's missing out on a good wave or two of creeps. Significant gold loss. You know, what's game. interesting is that now Darius is actually pulling ahead of Jax, and it's kind of odd. I, I would have thought him to have the earlier strength, and then Jax will start scaling up, but right now he's pushing out of his lane, pushing him out of his lane pretty handily. So, yeah, I hmm. guess it's the fact that Darius' abilities are have huge base damage, and he gains more from levels than Jax does. Even though Jax gains a lot, uh, Jax also, a lot of his power comes from his items, where Darius really just builds like a tank, and then just has just relies on his abilities doing so much damage that he kills everything anyway. And so, yeah, I, that, would, that would kind of explain why him getting a few levels will actually help him to out-trade Jax. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, this is two games in a row right now. Three games, in fact. We've seen Jace Bottom. Mm. Reoccurring theme and how he's meant to be played. Question mark, question mark, flavor of the month. Yeah, it's it's interesting, actually, because he has actually quite a high... Uh, unless I'm very much mistaken, he has quite high defensive stats for an AD. Uh, it's you know, It kind of synergizes with his uh, hammer, hammer mode. Uh, so... Having the ability to just jump in and have a stat advantage on the uh, AD gives you that extra trading power. If you're in a situation where you can... Because normally AD carry Jace can't really use hammer mode because if he does it, he'll jump in on someone. He'll do a load of damage, but he'll die instantly. Um, but in a situation where he's just against another AD carry who's ranged, he can afford to just jump in and it makes an awful lot of sense to just remain... Uh, to just do that and get the extra trading power, and ooh, that acceleration gate shot blast really hurt Phalox there. Um, uh, and so is actually going with the heads, but will not get the kill. Paranoia goes down and will flash as well. Leap strike, and the Tether should surely pick up the kill with the auto attack. Sanad also there. Broken shot coming in from the side as well. Can he reclaim a kill? They are approaching that turret is on very low health, however the minion is not there, or they charge looking for it, trading off with Soaz. Cyanide trying to do some damage to the turret, Creep Wave has returned as well, still trading off, Broken Shard trunking off Soaz's health. And that will be the finish with the Audacious Charge, did not yet have heads because he did not get the finishing blow. But um, that was a one for one trade after all, and Tower Falling of course as well. Yeah. I honestly think Cyanide could have gone back and probably would have forced Broken Shard off, but Ari was circling around and would have trapped them both if he'd done that. So it was probably either a two for one trade or a one for nothing. Uh, yeah. They realize XPK is down the bottom. Will he go for the dive? They're highly unlikely. And uh, for some reason, I just thought of Sherlock Holmes. Question mark coming from Broken Shard. Uh, Jew Broken Shard living up to his name. <laughs> Are you being <laughs> racist? Is it because I is Jewish? Um. <laughs> Some interesting bands are going down in chat right now. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Litigiousness um, being threatened here. I, I'm, I'm not convinced, really. <laughs> it's all in good fun, I swear. swear tell that, you tell villain! That, tell that to court. Um, so, so <laughs> I, my, me, mine. Oh, that's such an amazingly that terrible amazing. name to pronounce. He was thinking of this when he was like, oh, I know what I can do to the shout casters, make an incredibly irritating name to pronounce. Meanwhile, mid, Gip potentially gonna get something done? No! I expect it will be forced to pop the flash and that free mine bank will uh, 
will unfortunately not work out for them, but even so, that was a flash burnt, and I must make a saying I mean, there, but... That gives I Me Mine, which is what I'm going to refer to him as now. Possibly the Beatles. Possibly because um, it's his name. What? No, no I Me Mine. That's not his name. He's I Me Mine. Oh god, don't even. So we do have Broken Shot going down there. Boston Flash goes down as well for the third part of his free talent strike and will get the kill immediately from Woolino. Sounds like a Pokemon. And they will be backing off. They have four men around the area along with Jax. Tower's gone down. Lamia disturbingly close to uh, Broken Shard. As soon as you get into range of all Daisy's Shard, it's like the kill zone. And you can just have your allies follow up on it. And uh, we do have Jax. currently does a lot of damage and he's quite hard to get away from. You basically need some form of dash. Because if you're just trying to get away with a movement speed buff or something, it's not going to happen really. And bot lane it's tower. One for one. And interesting enough, it's 11 to 4, but they're actually behind in gold. FNAF have been very good about taking dragon, I think. It's, it's, yeah, they stole that dragon from before, and I think it's a CS difference as well. Uh, Ori versus Ari, uh, there's 30 CS difference. Darius versus Jax, oh my lord, there's a huge difference in CS there. There's about, what, 70? Holy, wow. He's 1 of 4 though, but still, yeah, like, 70 CS difference is like, what? Nock has been farming up a storm compared to Zin as well, though Zin has obviously had a lot more presence in the game than Nock. Um, Nine out of the other 11 kills, and uh, yeah, we will have Juice gone wild going straight for that Drake. We do have five people around the area, Oriana is back at base, do they have the potential to stop this from happening? That is the question. Um, uh, they will no. pick up very easily. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is the answer, thank you very much Fuddington. And they will be backing off Darius, will he pick up the mid turret? I'm not going to say that's the question, because then you will also answer it with yes. Uh, so they will be backing off, and I really don't think they can stop it. So, two broken shards, it's around the area, potentially farming Braves, potentially Fnatic just stopping the next. have taken the mid tower. Thank you. Thank you. Very informative. I, I am a color caster. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? If will I know, Mike cut X Peke here will not go for it. Interesting enough, he could have gone with Disguise and uh, gone with the knockback as well. So I'm looking for the pull. Not going to happen. Will not uh, pull in Willino. Will, however, collect a mini knock and get that middle turret. So strong push coming from Fnatic, surprisingly enough. Shocking. And. Yeah, yeah, but it was because the um, uh, Jew, yeah, I can actually say that, the Jew team <laughs> what, really wanted to recall after that dragon, and what some of them will have done it, would, did it immediately afterwards, so Fnatic said, right, you've taken dragon, let's take our advantage of what we can, and just uh, push down two towers. Yeah, it was a perfect timing push, really. It was just like, well, we know they're going back, what can we do with our time that we have? Mobilize, push towers, that's just... Yeah, it's perfect. It's just well oiled and very fluid. Well, the warding is actually very impressive right now for um, Fnatic. They, they do seem to be very fastidious, fasti mm, fastidious. Let's say warders. And oh, oh, oh. Xpeke popping the ultimate will just miss, and and I mean mine will be out of. Ari will be out of there. Someone's coming in looking for the heads. Will not actually get the kill. Looking to. Die here as well. Broken Shard still following up with the damage. Can he get out of there? Just May goes down, will not attack anyone. Castrike goes down, will stun him, and now will be the kill for Jax, reclaiming some gold right there and will be counter warding as well. Saya coming in and Crescendo goes down. Spell Shield as well, turning back into him will not be enough to take him out. Dunking time from Willino. Flash over the wall will get Saya out of there and uh, does not have a disguise to, to close the gap. Line up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's all go in one at a time. But yeah, no. Um, that was uh, interesting. I didn't actually see Darius use his ult, but apparently he did. So yeah, I did as well. But he didn't have any stacks, so it just did no damage. Oh well, whatever. It's yeah. It, it scales up. How much damage does it gain per stack? Twenty percent damage. Yeah. So with five stacks, you double the damage you're doing. That's that's a lot of damage extra. You really want stacks, at least some, before trying to use it to finish someone off. Otherwise, you, you're you're trying to execute someone with a very narrow margin. Well, if you take a look at it, 670 true damage with max stacks. That's 
Like, if you get max stacks on someone from full health, then by the time you've hit them enough to do that, then your ultimate's gonna finish them off. It's, I mean, look at Sony's yeah. health. She has, what, 1,370? That's yeah. like, just under half. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. That hurts a lot. That does Still damage and it hurts people. Yeah, <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> but anyway, I've got to say, um, you have like an amazing pick team right here. They yep. have every single one of their characters is very strong in a one v one scenario, and they all have a you know a lot of damage and a lot of crowd control. And they don't really they have a lot of mobility as well, thanks to Sona as, and you know generally all of their characters' uh, styles, like Acceleration Gate for instance as well. That's actually a great synergy. You can have Sona for the movement speed buff and active and Acceleration Gate from. Uh, Jace to just like. Oh, away. Dragon comes from Soaz, but uh, Broken Shard actually maybe turning this one around. Gets another stack off Hemorrhage, but it's a bit of staring down. Sorry to interrupt you, uh, dear sir. Oh, that's, that's fine. Do so. Um, it's, um, yeah. Mobility Team, Acceleration Gate, and Sona. Sona oh, Broken Shard actually initiating. Flash goes in as well, trying to knock people into his team. Ultimate goes on Shockwave. Shutdown goes on to Zin Zhao. Gets a pick on to Cyanide. Looking for another kill on to Expecte. There we will get it. Lamai. La Lamai. Llama. Llama will be taking a lot of damage here. <laughs> and the Llama will fall. <laughs> it will be backing off. Ah. And uh, <laughs> she now made. This is the best of the cast. It's a fantastic final. Glad you could join us, guys. So Soaz could also be caught as well. Will Wuluno use Disguise? He will! And so has <laughs> tried to turn this one around. Can he get the heads? No, he will not. Unstoppable, I mean, man, man, man. 17 to 5 right now, and they're only 1k ahead. And it's kind of crazy. You. <laughs> I love you too, Spuddington. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, Mobility Team, and you saw it there. They uh picked off one person, separated out the enemy team, and then they just focused down, the, focused down their team one at a time. A lot of damage, and oop, Gib is possibly going to get caught by Cyanide. No, he's not. Gib, it's fine. Captain Gibbs. Um, so yeah, something that's very interesting is they're just trying to surrender vote, right? And that was two for three. So there's some doubt in Fnatic's mind, but honestly, they're not that far behind. They were in fact ahead for a large portion of the game until very recently. Despite it being 17 and 5 because the farming so well, and here goes a desperation baron. But quite honestly, they didn't Gates need to be anywhere near as desperate. Yeah, exactly. It's and the demoralizing presence of Broken Shard, I think, <laughs> because he has. Well, no, I'm not. I'm actually being serious here. He he's ganking so hard so often, and he's so, doing so much damage when he ganks. You're just left with this constant fear. Oh, XPK taking a lot of damage. Her face charge goes down and. Beautiful shockwave! Will that be enough to save it? It will not. And Killing Spree going for Willino, picking up a kill onto the goat. And uh, they will be now taking Baron. Will Soas be able to do anything here along with Cyanide? Cyanide, no oh. miss. Oh, pulls over the wall. Head goes down, but is not going to pick up a kill. Following after to Cyanide now. Will he get any kills in return? Shut down and a simultaneous death. Can Broken Shot take on the Baron? That is the question. He's got some might. A flash <laughs> after Wolf and Jax to help our teammate. Good, good guy, Jax. When he could have stopped uh, someone, but you know, Lona could have just tanked it. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but get Sona hands dirty, not really. Tank. Llama has been taken out by Ari, um, kind of nonchalantly as well. Like, just have a charm and have some rest of it, and I'll take red buff as well while I'm at it. And Jace is picking up a GA. Has he gone for that? Yeah, he's gone for Triforce again. Though no brutalizer this time, actually. So, shall, you know, is is a bit of a change. So yeah, it's looking like he's going for an almost Irelia style build. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting. This game is very interesting to me, because as you said, like it's not all the demoralizing effect of being uh, against Broken Shard, but yeah, the aggressive ganks, and the fact that they're being so aggressive all over the board, and the fact that they're what? Calculation time, 15 kills behind. So, they're even on towers, they're ahead in CS by a significant margin, but the demoralizing effect is even enough to get on Fnatic's mind. And coming from a team which is so experienced as Fnatic that they didn't really calculate it out and see how far behind they actually are, which was actually incorrect because they were ahead, it was very interesting. Yeah, that Desperation Baron cost them a lot. I mean, honestly, until then, could have given it to them. Yeah. But, like, right now, I'm. 
Ying Ju's really honestly taking this game because they do have a pretty great late game. Like they they have Jax, Jace, Ari. I guess they don't have a pure AD carry. If it gets to super late game it could become an issue for them, but right now they are really strong. And we obviously with Baron buff. So yeah, yeah. They, they they are da dangerous. Well, the way the metas are going right now is all about the mid game. Like you're looking at the double AP compositions, you're looking at the strong AoE, you're looking at the strong early ganks from the gank junglers, support junglers, of course. So it kind of makes logical sense to just have a bruiser bottom because, well, you're looking at mid game, aren't you? But you have another Trinity Force mid game power. It's it's making sense, and um, I wouldn't be surprised if the meta really, really does shift to bruisers everywhere. Strong laning, strong mid game. So they will be pushing down yeah. mid. And uh, yeah, normally when you run a, a bruiser bottom, you have the problem of them not really having the range to poke. Obviously, Jace solves that problem by having range. Uh, in fact, he has a lot of range if you count his EQ combo. Uh, I mean, what is the range of that when it's boosted through the acceleration gate? Pretty long. I'll give you. Is it longer than Nilly's sphere? I'm not sure. It must be at least like. Mm, 20 Teemos or so? I'm not sure. 20, yeah, I, yeah, that's that's not an unreasonable assessment. Yeah. I know, I, I was being serious about that, I wasn't just uh, being facetious. What? But Fnatic what? pushing down straight down mid, desperation once again. Uh, th they're being very desperate, and this is what's costing them. They're like going for these desperation moves, but guys, you're not behind, you are now, and now you're going to be picked up. It's just like, ah, why? Plea, yeah, my vampire blood, and they're going for the initiation straight on to X Peke. What it goes down, easy, easy pickup on to Fnatic X Peke, and this will be a pickup onto Soaz as well. Corky is just what? race what? to the spawn pad. Where did Corky go? He just went like through six towers and just arrived at golems to farm them. <laughs> the best He's a of wizards. Wizard. But even so, I just don't understand Fnatic. I am Why? Red, and I am not a vampire. References, fantastic. I wonder if anyone actually gets this reference. They must do. There must be at least one person. But even so, it makes very little sense. Like, Fnatic are being so desperate. Desperation moves all over the place. And now... Don't under... Yeah. Yeah, it's and now really this is going to push good. advantage. Yeah, I, I, I think that last move there has really thrown them out of contention for this game, unless something really seriously goes wrong for the Jew team here. Um... Yeah, I just... Really, guys? I don't. Oh, uh, because he killed them on the spawn pad. Yeah, it could be that. You know, that that would anger a person, anger a man or a ghost. But they will be jumping onto XPK once again on the burst from Ari heads, and Sars will be reclaiming kill. But will he get out of there alive? Leaf Strike goes down, and he get more heads. Can he? No. Cost them so much though, and meanwhile Jace is um. Having a uh, ring around the rosies with uh, Lamia. Oh, he flashed. Peter. Well, Jace might still. He has a movement steroid, doesn't he, from his. Um... Uh, Lamia does have the jump, though, which. Uh... Wow, the damage! Oh! Jumps over oh, yeah. oh, hello, Jax! <laughs> uh, and everyone simultaneously recalls. Job is done, guys. Let's return to base. References. Anyway, um, so. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think Fnatic can come back from this because they put themselves in a bad position from demoralizing themselves. It like, and that just shows you, ladies and gentlemen, what demoralizing your opponents can actually do. Yeah, this. but in solo queue, you can actually go a long way being a bad player if you just learn to calm your team down. You just yeah. learn to say, t "Telling me I'm terrible at this game is not helping. Please do the right thing," etc., etc. It, like, it really helps. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, people do, obviously, psychology here at work. Uh -huh. I'm still kind of impressed at how um, Matic have kept up on the gold here, in general. Mm. Like, just, just pure CS, I guess. Well, the problem is, it's just that they can't see their own gold, and that's a massive issue, but they just haven't calculated it, and uh, that psychology degree doing good for you there, Spuddy. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, man. well, that's that's life. I, I I like my psychology. Shut up. I like it's it as well. To be fair, science, I swear. <laughs> it's so not. As... 
that was potentially trying to pick this one. Getting a pull, will it happen? Will it happen? No. <laughs> nope. Oh, you're taking nope, my job. AVI. Oh, damn it. Nope. Nope. I think nope. that's how it goes, isn't it? Um, the Jews are waiting in the bush. Sanad throws out a to Springer. Every time. Yep. And all yeah. of the times, and Jew Rick and Shaw going in from the sides as well. Jew's going in, and Sanad's just getting absolutely nuked down. Sinai is puffing the ultimate, going straight onto Broken Shot. They have literally three people on him, and they can't kill him. He may eventually go down, but he's been tanking them for about 15 seconds. Duckmaster can picks up the kill on to uh, onto Darius. Now chasing after Feliots will be the double kill. Sai is going to go ahead and recall and see if he can pull some some sort of baller play and save the game for them. But it's looking fairly unlikely at this point. Jax jumping out and letting uh, letting Sona tank. Good guy, Jax. I think they've <laughs> decided that actually he can't tank that and it really isn't worth it to try. Yeah. They could have tried Last. splitting the aggro between two different characters, but apparently not. Well, they have stopped the game from ending, I guess, but... Yeah, Sorrento that's a good failed thing. two and... Th two th three for two, sorry, this time, Fnatic. Oh, turns another person. <laughs> I'm surprised that they run this as a democracy here. Like, yeah. Normally, teams like this just sort of run and... We're going to play until everyone agrees. But we're not. But, yeah. Um, unusual. And Baron is up at the moment, and that's probably going to become the focus for the next... Good three few minutes, minutes mm, but yeah. Fnatic again, they're probably going to have problems contesting it. Um, Llama yeah. has just um, angered the Baron. Checking the Phosphorus Bomb, because it gives you vision. Um, in case the enemy had rushed it down as soon as they would left yeah. towers. Although if they had, I think they probably would have had it by the time he got there. Even so, good to check, and, well, he has lifesteal as well, so it's not like it's going to hurt him all that much, but, well, they do know they're around the area, they do have the ball as well, and that was the longest ball movement, ball movement, really? I've seen in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> and, slowing him down distance as well, completely unintentional, but, you know, everything's happening at the moment, so, why not just roll with it, but, um, uh, yeah, it's impossible to sneak a Baron when there is an Oriana on your team. Because you can just put the ball in, and there is literally nothing they can do except flash over the wall to kill you. Mm. Then again, they can just initiate on them like they're doing now. They've realized the problem, and they're going to solve it with brute force. Someone's already there looking to engage potentially, but to split the team once again. Challenge target will be taken out. Hez goes down doing barely any damage. And now, family just, you know, poking people, double kill for Jace. Will this be the third kill onto Cyanide? Looking likely, there's another kill, three for zero. And uh, Lamia, once again, cannot really contest. GG, well played, and that is the surrender vote. This might be my mistake, but uh, I think Ari may have accidentally activated Zonya at the same time as Death by Grasp in that last fight. Um, I don't know whether it was intentional or not, because she was on almost full health. But, uh, you know, it didn't really matter in the end. She nuked down Oriana and zoned her out of the fight. Uh, yeah, took away any chance they had of dealing with um, Xin Zhao and uh, uh, Jax shredding the whole team. GG. Yeah, GG. And it just shows you literally demoralizing effect. That's all it was. They just mm. got demoralized. So, um,. Pfft. Okay, so potentially we could go for an interview with uh, Broken Shard once again, and that would be certainly interesting. Um, He's going to be pleased. His prediction came true. Yeah, I'm trying to open up my TS client, but I get the feeling it's going to crash very soon. Oh dear. Oh well. Yeah. Alright guys, well we're going to go ahead and switch to a quick commercial break, and we'll be potentially back with a interview with Broken Shard. And I'm going to speak like this. See you in a bit, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> 